welcome tonight we are making some what's it called uh, meatloaf we have this ground turkey which was on a good deal but it's uh, not as lean as I want it but it'll work for tonight um, I'm gonna use salt I'm gonna use some um, brown sugar splenda which will be for the topping I have some cumin black pepper um, breadcrumbs garlic two eggs and um, I use peach or apricot pineapple for this will be for the the top it's like a sweet and soury kind of spicy top um, and um, some ketchup I don't have the low sugar um, kind so I, I forgot not... to take out my onion so I have one uh, medium-sized onion chopped up and so I'm gonna be putting the rest in, in just a minute okay so I added in my onion my, I have two pounds of ground um, turkey and I have two thirds a cup of the Italian seasoning breadcrumbs. Okay, so I put in about two tablespoons of garlic. I love garlic. Um, I use just a big old house spoon here and I put it in. And then I did about a teaspoon of pepper, a half a teaspoon of cumin and a half a teaspoon of salt. And I'm gonna add in four tablespoons of ketchup. Don't mind my finger, I um, hurt it, so. Uh, okay, okay, so we are going to mix this up now. I got my ketchup in there and everything. Don't laugh at me, because I have a hurt thumb, I'm gonna be using gl this glove. I always like to use a wooden spoon or um, glove. I, you know, get a box of gloves at Walmart. You never know what you're gonna use them for. My husband likes to use them for the car, for mechanicing wise, the mechanical stuff. Um, you know, if I have to do something gross at home, I love this because to clean your hands after you mix stuff up with meat, oh, my dog. Um, you can never really fix several times to wash your hands. So this way, you, you know, just take it off and you're good. And get the egg mixed up. And you do. Looking good, looking good. You don't need tons of stuff for me. I mean, you normally, per pound that you do, you just need one egg per pound. And ketchup is just for seasoning and help it get a little moisture to it. So it's not so dry. So you don't want it super. What, but see how like nice more stuff on my glove. Mix up that seasoning. And go. Nice and yummy. I just kind of fold it over like dough. And I think that's good. Okay. okay, so now I took my meatloaf. I like to pat it down because in a 13 by nine, I sprayed it. I pat it down flat in there because with ground turkey, um, you don't have a lot of like, of the grease and stuff like you would do with regular ground beef. Um, so um, I just pat it down and then it cooks faster and more yummier for your family and you get a bigger serving out of it. So you feel like you have a lot more. Okay, so I'm gonna stick it in the oven at 375. Hopefully it'll cook for about 20 minutes and I'll be done. Okay. So I've never used this Splenda before, and when I opened it up, it smelled very chemically. Um, so you use only a half the amount of, um, of sugar. So right here in the back of it, it says to use two tablespoons for a quarter of a cup. So, and it is, what the, uh, it's one, one, um, Half of a teaspoon is one point. So anyways, I did two tea, two tablespoons for three points, I think it is. I'll double check with that. And then of course I did um, um, four tablespoons of ketchup for four points. I decided not to do this because for one tablespoon, it is three points. So I'm just gonna add um, some, I add the brown sugar, and I'm just gonna add cumin and maybe a little bit of hot sauce to make it sweet and sour, um, sweet with the brown sugar. So I don't really need to have that to make it 
So I'm just gonna add cumin and we got the sugar and we got the um, ketchup. So if I need hot sauce, I'm gonna add it to it as well. So we'll okay, see. Okay, so I decided to add the splash of this hot sauce in there to make it a little bit more. I forgot to tell you how much cumin. I just did about a, a half of a teaspoon and I thought the hot sauce, instead of adding tons and tons of cumin, just add the hot sauce. So it's sweet from the Splenda, it's spicy. And so this is sweet and spicy sauce. And I did not, again, add that um, smucker stuff because uh, I did not have it the sugar-free kind. So I didn't want to add that. Okay, so this is gonna go on top when I, when it's all done, I spread it on top to make it all yummy and cook it for another five more minutes to kind of get crispy on, or not crispy, but cooked on top. And so it's nice and saucy and it just adds an extra little kick to your uh, meatloaf. Okay, I'll tell you, show it to you when it's all done. Okay, so here is dinner. So I calculated it, I make six servings for the two um, pounds of ground turkey um, six servings equals 11 points total. I put a big old heaping amount of green beans and um, Jason had a great idea to do some mushrooms and cook them on the side of the ground turkey or meatloaf and we have that. So all this for 11 points. Yummy! What did you have? Green beans. <laughs> Try the meatloaf. Oh, the meatloaf. Sorry, it's kind of crazy. My kids are watching Angry Birds. Hot? Oh, hot. It's good though. Try the sauce. You like the sauce? Mm hmm. So, a little, little spicy, but it's good. I like it. 